Hi, I'm John Levy with Peter Bodo for Tennis.com's Quick Hits. Beat as we wrap up the 2008 season, we're looking back at some of the milestones that have happened in the past. And 25 years ago, Yannick Noah became the last Frenchman and the last attacking player, someone who played with that style, to win the French Open. Can someone in today's day and age win with that style? Well, you know, I don't know which is more operative, the last Frenchman, because they have a heck of a lot of trouble at Grand Slams, or the attacking style. Let's look at the attacking style, though. You know, it's funny. Yannick Noah was on a roll that year. There was something almost faded about that victory. And he showed, you know, it was a great period for baseline tennis. You were at the end of the Borg area, but you had Wielander out there. You had a bunch of really tough Swedes who were playing great baseline tennis. I'm not sure it's that different today. I also believe that even today, a guy with the athleticism of a Noah, say a Roger Federer, catching a couple of hot weeks, could really win that tournament attacking all the time, especially against a guy like, say, a Nadal, who's, who's just pretty much unbeatable from the baseline. Back to Noah, he's a very interesting personality. After his tennis career was over, he became a big recording star in France. His son plays for the Chicago Bulls in the NBA. Talk a little bit about him. Well, it's funny, you know, you, if you went out, if you went out late nights in New York City back in that era, you know, you could actually bump into Yannick Noah at a club or something. You know, it happened because the guy was around. He was a big personality. People, you know, people loved him. They gravitated towards him. He actually, ironically, moved to New York to escape basically the celebrity and the fame and the paparazzi and. In, in France, and he had, had a great time here. But never forget, this guy, the ticket to this guy's success and fame really was tennis. He was discovered by Arthur Ashe in Cameroon. Arthur Ashe made sure he got to France to develop his game, and he turned out to be more than just a great tennis player. He turned out to be a towering, interesting, charismatic personality. It's probably why he did so well with the ladies, too. Well, that wraps up Tennis.com's Quick Hits. I'm John Levy with Peter Bodo.